Okay, so now we gonna open, um, let's say, the CLI, and what we're gonna try is to upload some files using uh, OCA CLI. So uh, before we used Visual Studio Code to do the connection, but right now I want to use Mobile Xterm for this connection. Yeah, so we can change from time to time. Let me connect to the WSL yeah, Ubuntu 20 uh, machine that I have on uh, this uh, Windows machine. If you see, yeah, if you run OCI, yeah, that means the OCI CLI is properly installed. Yeah, without any uh, additional. Uh, commands yeah it will not uh, uh, give you any results yeah so what i want to do in here i want to check yeah, if i have uh, the connection uh, properly done yeah if i have the credential so i will uh, use oci ns os get yes yeah, so i'll get the namespace of my tenancy uh yeah so in here yeah next step uh, that I want to do, yeah, I really need uh, to, to get some data related to the compartment, yeah, so I have the compartment, I have the OCID that I want to, uh, where I want to create, let's say, the bucket, so uh, I'll go into the console, I can use also the CLI to get that commands, but, uh, uh, yeah, it was much simpler at this point, so yeah, I will use OCI, OS, bucket, uh, create, command and uh, I'm gonna give with the namespace minus minus namespace so I'm gonna use the namespace that I got it earlier from there and uh, okay I pasted the compartment ID before uh, putting the namespace in there so I'll not go back and copy paste it again so right now after the namespace declaration I'll uh, declare also the compartment name yes yeah? so, compartment compartment ID sorry so in here, uh, I also need to specify what is the name of the bucket. Yes, yeah, so I'll put the, uh, the name of the demo bucket so you created by CLI. And now, <laughs> finally, I yeah, will uh, we'll use minus minus compartment ID. So as you can see in here, we have a response in JSON format that says that bucket was created. Let's go back uh, into the console. Let's go to storage and let's go to buckets and uh, if you go let's say let's change the compartment let's go to demo one and in here demo bucket cli was created if you look at the date in here yeah it was created on 10th of april uh, yeah so we are okay on this part now uh, if we have created uh, the bucket uh, next step that should be done will be to go and uh, let's say upload something in the bucket using the CLI so to do that for I'll try to get the file usually you can go you put ISO files let's say yeah one of the most used cases that I've seen ISO files VMDKs so we have or who knows maybe backups of the databases and so on so let me put an ISO for the Kali Linux yeah so let's search in there uh let's click on get kali linux doesn't matter if it's a virtual machine or install image yeah we just want a bigger file let me download the a wiki image yeah i usually usually use the latest the stable version but it is in care in case i don't care so i copied the link for it so i'm on the machine i'm in uh, compartment adi so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the vget command yeah so that means i'll get it directly into the linux machine uh and let's wait a little bit for the download to finish okay yeah i choose a pretty big file yeah i think it has around 4 gb or 5 gb it's on dvd okay i paused it a little bit yeah and now we have the file in there we also have the location, we have the file name, so let me start uh, running the command. I have o o OCI OS object put, so it is the command that will put uh, a file uh, in there. It always need to specify what is the namespace where you want to put it. Uh, you can have multiple namespaces, yeah, multiple tenancies that you want to use, so that's why you have it in there. Now I'll put it here, the bucket name. You can instead of bucket name, you can also use also the bucket of seed. But yeah, bucket name is much simpler in this uh, uh, moment. Now let's specify the file location. So I'm gonna use minus minus file in the command. 
uh, before yeah, I have slash home slash adi, yes, what is the location. After that, I put slash and I'll copy the file name that I just downloaded. In your case, yeah, you can put anything you want in there. So, yeah, after we have this, uh, let me think, we need something else. I think I think we are okay on the sending it. Uh, ah, oh no, we, we still need the, to, to, to specify the name of the file that will be created in, uh, uh, in the bucket. And also you need to specify the number of uh, the, the, the size of the parts yeah, that will be uploaded and uh, the number of parallel uh, uploads. Yeah? So if you want to go with uh, five, let's say five files of 100 megabytes uh, each and uh, yeah, after that uh, we'll press enter. Okay, what I did in here they give me different option ah oh, oh okay okay so what i did uh, i missed an alia in the name so let me change it in here okay so as you can see the part uh, started the part the file started to be uploaded in there uh, it is estimated to take around three minutes to upload uh, if we go now into the console yeah we'll not see anything because everything is done in the back end yeah so at the end uh the commit of the file upload and all of that yeah will be done in the back end so we still have to wait a little bit for the file to be uploaded before we will see it in there so that's okay yeah it's good let's wait a little bit more okay yeah as you can see still nothing uncommitted yeah we don't have anything uncommitted yet uh Anyway, the speed yeah, is very big, yeah, it's very good, and uh, it should not take very much to finish the upload. Yeah, so still have one more minute to wait. 1.3 minutes, let's pause it and start to continue. Okay, as you can see, we have the data, put it in there. Uh, we might have a delay, but now, yeah, it's already everything is committed, yeah, it was very fast. So as you can see, we have the file, we have uh, the name that we give it on the upload. So everything uh, yeah, was put it in there as needed. Okay, congratulations. Yeah, we have right now uh, also uploaded the file in a bucket using the OCI CLI. Thank you and see you on next uh, video.